What is up, YouTube? Well, YouTube, Twitch, whatever. What is up, people? How are we doing? Oh, that is someone's thingy. What's it called? Um. Why has it got the Burberry paint job? Oppressor. It's an oppressor. Don't know why I forget that. That is stuff and nightmares. That will torment you on the on any lobby on this game with other people. That will be the end of your life if you hear that. Anyway, I have a normal. There's another oppressor. I have a normal bike. That I'm gonna drive around while I chat to you guys. Right, let's see what helmet he puts on. That kind of matches. I'm not going to play the radio because it might cause copyright. I don't know. Will it? I don't know. But yeah, so this is kind of a another live stream, but in the style of a podcast. Yeah, either watching it live on Twitch or as part of a podcast on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I filmed the other one a few days back and I was like, okay. Got some good response. Felt good about it. Felt like it didn't disrupt what I was saying. I felt like it helped me speak in some ways. Is that a rhythm to it? I don't know. I mean, you'll see it and you'll find out. But this is the second one I'm doing, and uh, yeah, I'm driving a motorbike today because I drove a few, fair few cars in the last video, the last podcast. I don't know if anyone's ever done this before. It seems pretty random. I mean, not everyone that watches the podcast will play Grand Theft Auto. And not everyone that plays Grand Theft Auto would have seen the podcast, like my podcast or my style. They're different kinds of people, but if you just want to chill out and yeah, I'm not got the best. I don't know. I've heard that people fall asleep to my videos. Um, falling asleep to a video is that a good thing? No, I mean, if I was a not an annoying voice. You wouldn't fall asleep. Like, I don't shout a lot. But yeah. Look at those wheels. Spiderweb wheels. In honour of Spider-Man. But yeah. What to talk about. I mean, I always start these off random. When you give it a subject matter, it don't really help. So, you know, um... Yeah, I mean, it's a new year, it's a new day. We're finding out more about more parties that Boris held while we're all suffering. Like, again and again, like, are we surprised? If they do something good, I'll be surprised. You know, when do they do something good? How can you praise the guy now? I, I didn't like him from the beginning. I was like, he's messed up during the whole pandemic. Yeah, the vaccine rolled out this and that. But still, he hasn't really helped. I don't trust any of these politicians. These Eton schoolboys, man. They're, they're from what they would say are upper class. But they really act like farmyard animals. And they all have, and we knew it. From the other guy, what's his name? The one that went to the optician and then during lockdown, what's his name? Uh, and then Matt Handjob Hancock, whatever they call it. He was another one. But the philanderer. I mean, Boris has like nine kids by like seven different women what no i mean he's got like seven kids by eight, seven different women ridiculous oh that guy might kill me 
hope not. Now, like I said, hospital visits always stressful, but I got immense respect for nurses that are helping people get through tough times. Literally, you come into A and E, you could be in agony, you could be in pain, you know, whatever. They've got to deal with you regardless. And I'm not being biased, but the ner one of the nurses I met there, like on the way in. They ask, like, you know, what's wrong, like, what brings you in today, blah, 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 how are you doing? What's the issue, you know? And, you know, they need to be calm. They need to be balanced in their mentality so you can feel that you're safe and in good hands, you know? Because when I rolled up there, I maybe didn't feel that way. You, you know, you're just not in the mood for, for anything. And you need someone with a level head to say, look, it's going to be all right. You're going to get the help you need, treatment, whatever. We're going to sew your finger back on. If your finger's hanging off or something, I don't know. Sorry to get graphic. I mean, one guy, I heard what he was saying. He's like, yeah, I fell off my bike and my bike landed on me. Ow. Okay. I mean... Not, it could be worse, but yeah, you know, you go to hospital, seeking help, you get help. That's what it is. Not everyone appreciates appreciates that help. But yeah, I mean, think about it, the old clap for the NHS thing. I appreciate them. I didn't need to clap to show that, and that was all a political thing to Boris to get. For Boris to get the NHS on side. Um, respect to every nurse, anyway. I don't need to clap outside to sh to appreciate them. You know, it doesn't affect me. What is this beeping? I don't know. No, I mean, like I said, I don't need to stand outside my door clapping the NHS. I respect what they've done for me over the years and what they do. Sometimes it's frustrating the time you wait, but sometimes I think I need this help. I'm willing to, well, not everyone's willing to wait. And in some cases, that can't wait. And at times I feel a bit hard done by... by certain parts of the system. Like... You know... But... Overall, they've helped me. I'm glad I live in a country... where they, the NHS exists. Something like the NHS... is vital. Well, there are shortcomings, yeah. That's true with everything. But like, the action of that nurse, like, to care about other people is like, what you need. And what it takes to be a nurse or a doctor. The willing to help people. Listen, some of them I've met, some doctors I've met, don't know shit. And couldn't do a blood test if they tried. Half the nurses, because they're literally in the thick of it. On some things are more knowledgeable. But some doctors obviously are brilliant. But on one of the visits I had, he did because he didn't know the condition. None of these doctors in a normal hospital know my condition. They can read my notes, but they're not the the like I've got the hospital where I go for all my specialist like needs and medical stuff where they know about the condition. And they've studied it. But these are normal doctors and some of them, you can see they're scared to give me advice that could be wrong. But, you know, they just assume, oh, is it, so, some doctors think, okay, do this procedure to help with this problem. Don't think about, like, necessarily how strenuous on the body that is. And then some think the opposite, person or patient, you know. 
those kind of things. And most of them are good. But um, they, when I phoned them, they couldn't really give us any advice. They kind of just said, phone 111. Like, because when I was in going through the problem, like, I needed that guidance to know what to do. Like, I don't know everything about me. You know what I mean? Things change every day. There's a lot of things that have developed through having this illness um, that I wish I was warned about in my younger days. I wish they warned me in advance so I could be prepared. Maybe they don't want to scare a kid when you're a kid and tell you that. But, you know, I'm not a kid. Jesus, do you know what that guy said? No, thank you. But, yeah. You mean hey? You're shouting hey on this game. But yeah, it can be a bit daunting when you're going through something you've never gone through. Um, but, you know, I was worried it was worse. And when I was in hospital in September with my lung issues, breathing issues, and I was in there for five days. And there were times that I was like, nah, screw these guys, they're useless. And by the end, I was like, I'm grateful. Because I, I rolled out of the hospital. Like, walk, well, I would have walked up, but you know what I mean? Rolled out of the hospital. I mean, I went home after. That's all I, you know, that's... You don't need to say thank you. I mean, you do, but that's all the, the proof you need right there. I went home. And then Boris is throwing a party while some people were suffering and not getting to go home not ever going home again or in the Queen's case not seeing her husband again while Boris is having a party it's not just his shortcoming it's a shortcoming of people in power in general you know Jesus Christ. I'm back on the bike. And it's raining. I love the rain. I'm looking for my house. There's a guy at my house. I mean, if I worry about what Boris is doing every day, like, I get fed up. It's difficult. Because it matters, obviously. But sometimes I really don't care, in some sense, in the sense that I don't care about them people. And I don't want to think about those negative things. Like global warming, you think about that all day. You you jump off a, a bridge. You know it's it's difficult. But literally, I kid you not. Since I've been out of hospital, or back at home the last week, every day has been blue sky. Is that a sign? I don't know. Am I religious? Not really. Maybe sometimes. Is it a sign? Probably. I do not know. Uh, where are we going? I don't need to be in here, but... I need to be in the garage. What shall we do? What shall we take? This beast, man. Or that beast, or that beast. Or that beast. 
Love this standard looking thing here. I actually love this car. As standard as it is. I love it. But this just sounds better. Going for the matte grey here. I got a lot of grey cars I've realised. Or silver cars. My van is silver. Listen to that. But it's white. It's gonna be bad on the uh the wet. See? What is it about rain? Like, I don't like when it rains, but the sound of rain is just wonderful. Oh, it does it as well. I didn't know this did it as well. Scraped up the back. I did it wrong. No, I'm wrong again. That's amazing. Yes. That is sick. Didn't think this one could do it. Oh. Anyway, I got... I've been distracted. By this beautiful car. But no. I'm realising... Oh shit. There's a guy following me. You gotta find a way to simplify your life, like keep things simple in some ways, in some aspects. Like even when it comes to me, I overthink a lot, and there'll be days where I think, like this is harsh. What have I really achieved in my life in general? And that's a negative thought, and that kind of thing. The fear of not having done enough um, with my time is a big thing. Why a lot of people fear death, probably? Because just in case in your life you haven't lived it to the fullest. You know, just in case you haven't achieved what you want to achieve. That is part of it. But mainly for me, it's like what I've actually done with my life. That's what it comes down to. And you're in lockdown for a year or two. Spending a lot of time with your own thoughts. You think that kind of thing. And then all I do is think about all that I have done. And the list goes on and on. Things I've been through and done. Good things. Mistakes I've made and learned from. Things I've learnt. Think, jobs I've had. The education side of things, the fun I've had with friends and family and in different situations, the difficult times that make the good times so much better, all these things. And like, you can never say you're ready for, for like what the future brings. I can never say bring it on. I will never say, like in 2020 I said, or was it last year? No, one year I definitely said, like in the new year I was like, bring on the next year. And you say that you just tempt fate. You just invite bad luck. It will bring what it brings. It is what it is, you know. Whatever happens, I don't know can't even say that anymore. Don't make promises that you can't keep. It's all about balance. 
But yeah, I, that thought, have you done enough? It's wrong because I have. But literally, look at this YouTube career. Look at the amount of videos. And I got a hundred and what? 25 subs? Like, I, want, I always want more. But the body of work I have on videos on YouTube, the documentation of my life, all these moments, all the effort gone in, is worth it. And it, it's my contribution to the world. So is making someone laugh, whatever you do in one day. It doesn't have to be to make money or actually help loads of people if you make one person one person make one person smile or laugh or feel better about themselves or learn a lesson that's it that's all you need that's all you should you should be happy with that if in one day i only do that at times i was like you wouldn't think about that think about what have i actually done and the motivation to do more is good, but if you just made someone smile, isn't that enough? I do that through my videos, I think. Or make people fall asleep. Or laugh, or go, oh my god. Or something. Feel something, at least. I hope I do that. I know I do to my friends. To my loved ones. To any more than that. I really don't care. And yes, I want more subs. I want more people to notice me and my videos. I don't want to get famous. I just want to make it. And you could say I've made it already. It's not about making it. It's about living every day. And building little bricks to add to that, little, that wall you're building. And not, not cutting corners. But speaking of that, of cutting corners, you know, Bill Gates once said, like, you can always get a lazy person to do a difficult job because they'll find an easy way to complete that job or task because they're lazy. But they'll think of an easier way to do it, which overall is better for any business. Uh, I'm not saying be lazy. One thing I've not done on YouTube is be lazy. I've gone, right, I need to make loads of videos, get good at this, learn, do something again and again, eventually you get it right, and you'll be good at it. Literally, re repetition. And yeah, so don't, don't repeat the same mistake, all this. You know, doing the same thing's boring. But, like, anyone that gets good at any job has done it for many years. You don't just start and then, like, start off good, do you? takes time. It's a build up of effort and work and knowledge of getting it right and wrong. There's videos I look back and I'm like, what the hell? What did I just do? What was this? Why? There's videos I look back and go as well. There'll be videos where I look back and go, that is really good. Wow. I wish I could recreate that. Obviously you can't recreate any video. The feeling it gives. But there's times I don't feel fulfilled. Fulfilled. There's times I do. But the mix of both. You've got to have the mix of, like, the fear of not having done enough will motivate you to do more. But sometimes you've got to appreciate what you've got and what you've done. Oh my god. People are aggressive on it. Well, that's really oh my, I forgot. I forgot what I was saying. Right, how long have we been on?
but yeah, I've almost got. I can't even see how much money I got because my face is in the way, but got a decent amount. Have a look. Does it even say here? Two million two hundred eighty-seven. Okay, that's a decent amount that I don't have in real life. But like, you may think me playing this is a waste of time. If you don't agree with video games, and what they do to people, this one especially, the violence like you've just seen, all this, if you don't agree with it, I mean, there's ups and downs playing it till five in the morning on your own in dead in the dead of night is like okay but not okay I've had times where I, I used to and I thought I gotta stop doing this I have since I have self control or I've developed it but like I, I passed my GCSEs despite Call of Duty existing and other games so right I need to pass this then I can play this game all my life you know, and you wish for the school day to end to come home and just play Call of Duty with your friends or whatever game it was but now it's different I can live stream when I play it makes it feel worthwhile that like I'm doing that, I can drive around and not feel like I'm wasting the day because I'm talking to you guys and enjoying it too enjoying driving around Beautiful. What what a time to be alive. They better make a new game. They better make a new GTA. But like I was saying, it's different the way I play games now. You may think, yeah, you're an adult now. Stop playing games. Throw it all away. Screw you. <laughs> I mean, like, if you think that, I mean, whatever makes you happy through playing video games sometimes like now that is to be appreciated you know it's part of my process always what, what happened there almost like therapy you know okay, let's do one more for luck Nice. Return vehicle. Then phone up the annoying mechanic again. Who says the same shit for bloody seven years. However long this game's been here. I think this game came out in 2013. I was at uni then. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? I was in my second year of uni. Or first year. I was like, wow, this game. Is it past uni or play this game? I'll bring it by. Aye, I'll Bit get of back both. I'd write my essays like in all the other time I had. But like at night, like late at night, in the early hours, I'd play this. After having written an essay or whatever. Or... Not every night, but yeah. Did go through a stage of being addicted and the amount of time you get off uni. I'll be in the pub. Or on here, you know. Listen to that. Whoa, forget the podcast. Forget everything. But yeah, be um, 
be humble, I guess. Be humble is the word. Appreciate what you have done in your life. And if you haven't quite made it to where you want to be, appreciate that it takes time. And that you might not make it, but in terms of getting to where you want to be, but know you've tried to get there. Because if you don't try, you don't know. You know, if I didn't try YouTube, I wouldn't know if I was really good at talking or forming a narrative and telling my story. But people need to hear it. I mean, my brother would just say, oh, you shut up, you talk too much. No one cares. And part of me doesn't care that, that maybe not everyone cares. It's just good for me to tell my story. And for those who do care, thank you. But not everyone cares. I watch a YouTuber and like, do I really care about them? In the full sense of the word? Not really. Do I want them to still make videos? Yes, many, some of them have stopped since pandemic. Or they've moved on and made something more of their lives. Or changed path. But for me, it's like, I'm going to keep doing this. Regardless, I don't care, like, 125 subs, it's not a lot, but I've earned them, that was zero, and that's me, no one else edited the videos, me, and you've got to be confident in your own ability, and I am a YouTuber, and like, I always thought I didn't deserve that, I still feel like a I have to earn it still. But I put the work in. You gotta still put that work in. Even when you reap rewards. Otherwise you'll stop reaping rewards. You know? And the amount of videos I've done can't be argued with. More than a thousand. I'm pretty sure. They're not all still up there. Some I've since deleted. Some you can't find. But yeah. And I'm proud to say it was all me. I didn't pay an editor. Though one day I might. But y you pay an editor and unless they know you really well you lose that that um, like personal personal touch the video call oh my god guys on my family group chat they're trying to do a video call that will be mental Jesus I want to stay out of that I don't always talk about my lovely family but sometimes you know a family group chat is it's horrendous people go up at 7am just to put a little emoji to say good morning or a little video and I'm out here playing GTA just think some of my older relatives they don't understand what I do just think oh cute disabled boy just plays games all day they don't even ask what you do sometimes not like close relatives but like more distant ones I don't even ask. Dare I explain what I do? You know, I mean, my granddad knows I make videos. Like, does he know I make videos? Yeah, but like, do they understand what YouTube is? No. But, you know, you, your family will, well, in some cases, are meant to. They're meant to, like, appreciate you what whatever you do whatever you do if you're a drug dealer if you're bringing in cash they won't <laughs> I don't know but like you know what I mean some people needs must but yeah in, in most se sense most senses of the word they do love you regardless so and I know I'm not and if you know you're not a layabout that's good enough for you if you want to be a layabout and work hard at that career, you can achieve that career. 
Is, is it a career? I don't know. But, it's, you know, it's doing something. But I'm not a layabout, is what I'm saying. I'm not all about effort either. I can have lazy days. Like, I used to upload a lot more. Um, and I'm trying to get back in the rhythm of it, but it's proving more difficult. And I've been ill recently, and yeah, that kind of thing. But I still make videos. I mean, I am now. I've gone through breaks and phases, and I don't film so much personal day-to-day -day stuff. Because sometimes it's like, too intrusive. Things like that. But apart from that, you know, I've got, I've got content that I seem to roll out. I never run out, I haven't really run out of ideas. As long as I've got the podcast going, through that I get ideas too. And through, like, just living life. It's been difficult past year, but through COVID, through pandemic, it did, I never stopped doing YouTube. It helped a lot. I never gave up on that. Because had I have, that might have been the point of no return for the content. I might have hung it up for good. But I would go mad if I did. What else would I do? I would literally have nothing else to do. I mean, get a conventional job. No friggin' way. I'm not built for that. Able-bodied, disabled, whatever. I'm not built for a 9-to-5 office job. Or that kind of job. Respect to the, the working man, respect. I respect everyone who works for a living. I do too, in a different way. Or what I do here, I do, you know. But then, but then people will say... There's people who always say, you know, get a real job. It is a job. And the future hey, of jobs is changing. What it means to have a job is changing. Now you could do it in your underwear, in your room on Zoom. You know? You could do it what you want. You can work from home. The world is changing. So the way you work is different. That's not closing. That is not closing. Let's end it with this. Last little drive. I love this car. It's... I love that sound. It's... It's... Beauty. Yeah, beauty. But yeah, just keep plugging away whatever you're doing. If you're younger and you're at school or studying, still, go for it. You know, if you're at school wishing it was all over and you were done with school. Don't, because you'll regret that. If you're just starting out in a job, good luck to you. I wish you well. If you're in a difficult job that you want out of, and you're looking for a way out into a better job or better life, you will get that. Just keep working. Keep, keep earning that money. Or working towards whatever. Money isn't everything, while it certainly helps. But, just keep going. Like, do it, if you don't, 
Do it for anyone else, do it for yourself. I don't do it for anyone else. I don't do it for my family. I do it just to make people's day a bit better. Help someone through whatever difficult thing it is. Hopefully I've done that. And continue to do that. Make people laugh or see the world in a different light. From a different perspective. You know. There's other ways to view the world. Some good, some not so good. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. You know, that kind of thing. But yeah. Rolling around the city. In this lovely vehicle. What more can I ask for? I'm in my element right now. But yeah, life will be what you make it. If you make it difficult, it will be. Sometimes it is difficult, but you work into something better. And that will keep you going. Hope's not always a good thing, but it, do it will keep you going. But, you know, and you will see changes. Eventually. You will see things get better. And if you're nice to people, it should be nice in return. Not always the case, but I choose that way. Some people don't deserve your time, but you don't know what people are going through. And some people are good, or going through what you're going through, or, or something worse. All I can say is, be careful who you trust, but kindness will take you very far. Without it, what we got? Sable Bay. Park up here. I ain't got a badge, but I got proof. Why am I deliberately messing this up? I don't know, but I'm here, guys. And I'm next to my lovely car. On up here. But that is it for this podcast. I will see you real soon. Take it easy. Stay up, stay humble. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Or, I don't know, change your path, change something if you want to improve your situation. Because it's always possible. I mean, you, if anything, should have the power to change the path you're on. But that is it from me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking part. A like, share, comment. Subscribe. Peace.